Hey everybody, it's Robert Brennan and the video you guys have all been waiting for, how to get your aquaponics system cycled, so stay tuned and I'll show you how. Alright, so if you guys have been following me for a little while, you know that we just finished building this aquaponic system. It's just a desktop aquaponic system. It's very small and very compact and it's a great way to get started. Now, if you want to see how we put that system together, I'll put a link to the video here and you guys can go ahead and watch that video and get to where we are now. But once you guys have the system built, the next thing you have to do is do something which is called cycling the system. So in the description below, I've put a more in-depth look at what cycling actually is. And if you guys go ahead and read that, you'll get a little bit more of an understanding. But to keep the video short, we're going to kind of skip through that and give you kind of a basic idea of what cycling is. If you're familiar with you're running a fish tank or an aquarium, you guys know that you have to cycle the system. And basically what that is, is it's allowing the creation of beneficial bacteria into your system so they can convert the ammonia to nitrates and then to nitrates and then that will allow the fish to sort of not live in a toxic environment. So just a quick overview and sort of in layman's terms of what's going on here. Now the fish in the bottom, right, they're just swimming around and they're going about their day and when they're doing that they're creating ammonia, right, and that's through their fish waste, that's through the food they don't eat, okay, that's through their gills when they breathe. Now if the levels of ammonia get too high it becomes toxic to the fish, right, and then the fish die. So what happens is a beneficial bacteria comes in and converts that ammonia to nitrates. Now that's what the plants get to eat for food, okay? And then basically they use that up and then send the water back down to the fish clear. The fish can then go about their business, pee, poop, eat, live their lives like fish do, um, and then create the cycle to start again, okay? Now, so there's two options to cycling the system in aquaponics. One's a fish cycling and one's a fishless cycling. Now with fish cycling, we introduce the fish to the system right away. Now that works and it's, and it's okay, but what ends up happening is what happens if the beneficial bacteria don't get introduced into the system early enough, right? Then the ammonia levels start rising, 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 and the beneficial bacteria aren't converting them into the nitrates and fast enough. enough. So what ends up happening is that the fish gets too toxic for the fish, the fish start dying and you end up losing fish, which isn't really that great of a situation. So we can do something else. We can do a fishless cycling where we introduce the ammonia ourselves. So we can go to the store and buy ammonia, put it into the system, let the system cycle through and get it to the point where once we introduce the fish, all the beneficial bacteria are already in the system and they're already ready to go. So we won't have as much loss in the fish end of things. So that's what we're gonna do. Now you can buy one of these freshwater master test kits and that's what you're gonna need. You're gonna have to do a little bit of chemistry when we're working with this system, okay? So go ahead and get yourself one of these master test kits. You can buy them at any aquarium. And what it's gonna give you is tests for pH, ammonia, nitrates and nitrites, okay? And we wanna get a baseline of what all of these are. Now, as far as the ammonia is concerned, it should be zero. As far as the nitrates are concerned, it should be zero. As far as the nitrites are concerned, it should be zero. And the pH will start with first because we need that to be very specific to the system. So we're gonna add five mils of water to the test tube and we're just gonna take that water from the bottom fish tank And then on the container, it says add three drops. So we'll go ahead and we'll add one, two, and three drops to the system. So you get your reading card and the reading card is gonna have a bunch of colors and then the colors are gonna have a specific number. So in the case of this one, we're gonna just match up the color of the water to the color of the test tube. And it looks like we're at about a 7.6, which is a little bit high for a system like this, but we're just starting the cycle. So it's gonna be okay for now, but we don't want it to raise a little bit higher than that. So we're gonna keep an eye on things over the next few weeks. And in week two, if we still have too high of a pH, then we're gonna use a pH down solution to convert that pH to a lower number, okay? So now we can go ahead and do our ammonia test. Now on the ammonia bottle, you just take a look and it says bottle number one, add eight drops. So we go ahead and open that up and we're going to add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight drops of bottle one. And then we're going to look at bottle number two and it says add eight drops. So we're going to go ahead and add one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight drops. And then we can cap it, give it a shake, and we'll just set it off to the side. And again, we're gonna compare it to our card. So you can see that the color is the very lightest color, even lighter than the lightest color. So we know we have zero PPM of ammonia, which is exactly what we're expecting, okay? Now we can go ahead and do our nitrite test, and it's add five. So one, two, three, four, five. And we'll put a cap on that, give it a shake. So using our card, we can see that our nitrite is zero PPM. So the nitrate is add 10, bottle number one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And then using bottle number two, additional 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Look at our card and test it. And you can see that again, we're sitting at zero PPM. So what we've been able to determine now is that we have a zero baseline to follow, okay? So we know that we're starting with everything right at zero. So we're gonna go ahead and make a note of that into our log. Now what I've gotten is pure ammonia. And you gotta make sure when you buy this stuff at the store that it's not ammonia with detergent because that'll kill the fish. So you want pure ammonia. And what we need to do is we need to raise the level of ammonia in the system up to 0.5 ppm. So if we look at our card, 0.5 ppm is just this lightish green color, okay? So 0.5 ppm is just that lightish green color. So we're gonna raise the system up. Now, in order to do this, what you have to do is add a few capfuls, test the system. Add a few capfuls, test the system, okay? So we're gonna start and we're gonna add two capfuls to the system. And we're just gonna go ahead and put this directly into the fish tank. There's no fish in here at this point. So two capfuls to the system. We're gonna give it a stir and then we're gonna run our ammonia test. And we'll look at our card. And we can see that we're at still zero PPM. So we're gonna keep doing this process of adding two capfuls then a test, two capfuls, then a test. Now what you wanna make sure you do is you wanna make sure you make a note of how many capfuls that you're using. That's gonna be important later on. So right now we're at two, we're gonna keep adding two until we get to the right amount. I've added about 10 capfuls so far of the ammonia and I'm reading 0.5. So what I wanna do is I wanna cycle the system, let everything sort of go through and mix, and then I'm gonna go ahead and take another reading. So okay, so I'm reading just basically about 0.5 to one. It's kind of in between those two colors. We, we really are ideally shooting for 0.5 ppm. So I did, 10 capfuls and that got me to uh, 0 0.5. After cycling the system, it was more like one PPM, okay? So I know that I could probably reduce that about a capful or two over the next couple of days and then I should be able to maintain closer to this 0 0.5 PPM. So over the next five to seven days, we need to daily check each one of the ammonia, the nitrate and the nitrates. Okay, what we're basically looking to do is we're looking to keep this at 0 0.5 throughout the next few days by adding the same amount of capfuls. So I added eight capfuls, or I added, sorry, I added 10 capfuls, that was a little bit too much. So over the next couple of days, I'm only gonna add eight capfuls. And we're gonna test to make sure that we do maintain the 0 0.5 PPM. Then we're looking to get our nitrate levels to 0 0.5 PPM as well. Once we've reached 0 0.5 ppm on the scale, then we know that we're starting to really get a cycle happening, okay? And then we can look at adding more things like plants and the fish at that point. So when we do reach this 0 0.5 ppm of the nitrate, then we can go ahead and reduce our capfuls by half. So in my case, I wanna do eight capfuls, so I'm gonna reduce it to four and continue to do that. 
So now is where you get to play scientist a little bit. We got to keep really good notes on what's going on, all right? So we're going to make sure that we're testing for ammonia every single day. We're going to be make sure that we're testing for nitrates, and then we're going to make sure we're testing for nitrites, and then we're going to make sure that we're testing for the pH, okay? And when we reach the desired levels there, then we can start to cut back on that ammonia. So I know now that I need eight capfuls or so of the ammonia, and depending on how many times it cycles through the system, you're going to have to adjust, okay? But you know, you, once you have your baseline, and in my case, it's going to be about eight. So I'm going to put eight in every single day, test the ammonia levels, make sure that they're still at about 0.5 ppms, and then test the nitrate, test the nitrites, and then test the pH. And once I start to see those nitrates and nitrite levels come up to 0.5 ppm, then I'm going to reduce the ammonia that I'm adding from eight capfuls to four capfuls. So whatever you guys have determined for your system, you're going to go ahead and cut that in half and then we're gonna keep cycling the system. So that's basically part two to the system. Once we get to that point, then we know we've reached part two of the system. And I'm gonna have that video up for you guys soon. And it's about a week to get to there, uh, anywhere from seven to 10 days. So stick with it, make sure you're keeping really good notes. And next time we're gonna add plants and get plants into the system. And we're gonna get to those fish eventually, I promise you. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please subscribe and you'll get the next video so that we can continue to cycle the system. And until next time, I'll see you later and happy growing.